Hey, what's up? This is Hunter with Tortoise and Hare Software, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about an MSP website build overview and giving you a little bit more visibility behind the curtain of what goes into a website build so you can think a little bit more about what uh, it might look like having us as your website build provider. <laughs> So a lot of times when clients reach out to us, they want to do a pay-per-click advertising effort or search engine optimization or something like that and want to start generating leads ASAP, um, which is a natural instinct. But, you know, sometimes we look at their website and uh, tell them, you know, you're just not ready to do pay-per-click advertising or you're not ready for SEO um, and it's just not time for you to go into that yet. We either need to, you know, repair the website or rebuild it. Um, sometimes, you know, if it's a solid enough website, we can just kind of clean up what's there. But, you know, sometimes it's also more efficient to just scrap what's there and relaunch a new website. Um, and that was the case here. Um, so today we're going to kind of walk through the, you know, build process from you know, concept to completed product and um, talk about how we helped a client kind of get a little bit more prepared for uh, launching an advertising effort. So I've pulled up this client's uh, website in their the Wayback Machine to kind of look at the previous version of the website. Um, and, you know, just kind of looking at what I'm seeing is like, you know, we've got blue up here, we've got orange here, we've got red there. We got a full screen video background, which isn't always the best for SEO, can be kind of distracting. Um, and it's got some like flashing in the middle of the video. So that probably needed to go. Um, you know, barely any content on this page. Um, you know, again, kind of is it blue, is it yellow, is it green? Like what's what is the visual identity? Um, super thin content on this page. Um, you know, overall, like I just did not predict that this website would do very well. Um, on a pay-per-click advertising effort or you know there wasn't a ton of effort ton of content to work with that we could come kind of clean up and get it ready for SEO or you know so it was just overall more efficient to kind of scrap their website and rebuild this one um, and you know that kind of started out with a you know branding exercise of like you know, how do we kind of, you know, develop that cohesive visual identity? Um, and we really only have this kind of blue of their logo as a color to work off of, because um, that's the, you know, we want to make sure that any coloration or branding, you know, gels with the original logo and kind of, you know, core brand identity. And we've got corporate blue here. Um, and, you know, we use some uh, tools um, such as, uh, you know, that help us generate uh, color palettes based off of one core color. So we use this one core color, and I believe it was this uh, hash 285C89, um, which you can see is present in all these, you know, brand color options. So, you know, we gave them, you know, a couple of brand color options that we told them kind of gelled with their uh, core brand color based off of known branding um, color schemes like triadic and complementary and monochromatic and things like that. Um, but, you know, we pulled four together that we thought were the best looking and gave them some options. Um, and then we pair those with a um, grayscale in pretty much any website that's just 100% a, a white, 100% black. And then you know shades of five percent incrementality of uh, additional you know darkness or brightness or lightness kind of added in. Um, we ended up going with option three for this client, um, which was a little bit more you know simple. Um, we also gave them some typography options. Um, DM Sam's bold was kind of the closest Google font to what was already in their logo, um, and then we had a couple body copy pairing options. And we ended up going with uh, DM Sans headings and Source Sans Pro body copy. Um, and with the kind of branding options, we also give them little like, you know, preview websites and what some, you know, uh, content areas might look like with that sort of branding. Um, and then this was the option that we went with right here. 
Um, and then, you know, we worked on, you know, several of the pages and take the kind of initial copy and some, uh, a Word document, pair that with a designer who works on some designs, and we end up getting to a final product that looks like this. Um, so this is their, you know, refreshed website with the updated branding applied. You know, we can see uh, we have a primary CTA sort of color, our primary accent color being kind of like a, you know, hot pink sort of um, style, core brand colors of, a, of shades of the core brand blue, and then a sub accent color, kind of like a secondary accent color of this like electric green. Um, you know, got all sorts of cool SEO elements, ways to contact, optimize for lead generation, easy to convert, um, you know, looks nice, we thought, gave careful thought to the copy here. You know, some key selling points, companies under management, endpoints under management, why choose us, they've got a really nice video here that kind of shows them how easy it is to submit a support ticket from directly from like a desktop add-in they have. Um, you know, competitive pricing, you know, some of those things. Um, I won't go and drain through all the copy here, um, but just kind of giving you a visual overview of kind of what the you know site looks like. Um, and just kind of pointing out that we did pay attention to some SEO elements when we, you know, build these websites. Um, and we use a copywriting framework that we've de developed internally here um, at Tortoise and Hare Software, which has be been picked up by other agencies and is being used out there in the wild. Um, it's called the Presto Copywriting Framework, which I've talked about in some other videos. Um, so there is like a structure and a method to the madness. Uh, for this, uh, you know, copy that we've developed and the way these pages are structured, um, and we've taken some of the header and footer elements off of, off of uh, successful websites that we've built before as well. Um, so, you know, accumulation of lessons learned from doing things for other clients, and um, you know, when we build websites for our clients, they're you know much more than just we built you a website. You know, it's going to be a um, micro brand or let me pull this slide here. So we've got a you know micro branding exercise that we're typically doing. Um, then we're kind of translating that into the website build, um, which includes like some basic SEO. Um, you know the sites are optimized for lead generation, um, where we've got phone numbers, CTA buttons, form submits, you know ability to subscribe in the footer to an email list, things like that. Um, you know, we're also connecting these websites to Search Console and Analytics. Uh, we're submitting sitemaps of the updated website to uh, Google Search Console so they know what's going on. Um, also good for ES SEO. And then handling, you know, things like redirects from the old website to make sure that we're not just like losing all of the traffic from the old website. Um, see that happen all the time. Just everybody blows away their traffic and link juice and pretty much has to start fresh that's a terrible idea that's gonna you know slow everything down so we're making sure we're doing all the good stuff there um, we're typically also installing ad pixels as part of these website builds just so you can start building retargeting audiences and getting audience data from ad platforms for uh, you know uh, competitive intelligence market research type purposes um, we're also setting up conversion tracking so your analytics is getting all that good data um, from all those people you know, uh, converting on your, you know, CTAs and forms and things like that. And we're also typically doing call tracking setup where we've got forwarding numbers for your website. So, um, you're able to get like call recording, um, and, you know, call data and, uh, just overall get visibility into the performance of your marketing pipeline. So doing much more than website build. So that's just like this tiny little line item, but like, you know, magic is really what happens in all this other stuff. Um, you know, with the website build, you know, we're also including licensed copies of a premium page builder, a premium theme, a pre premium kind of like templating engine, um, premium form builder plugin that has integrations that connect to your CRM. Um, so you can, you know, take those form submits and have them go straight to your CRMs and build out whatever workflows you want to do. Um, We've got premium a premium site performance plugin to make sure things load. We are going with like page builder type websites, which are 
you know do have some downsides and you know WordPress plugins are typ typically you know have some bloat and we're just not in the custom coding business we want to be you know quick agile things like that so uh, the solution this, to this is typically to install and configure a site performance plugin um, which we have and have you know basically pre-configured um, and then a premium lead generation plugin that we can use to create exit intent pop-ups uh, slide-ins and blog posts and things like that you know the client I just showed you is kind of a, a you know they're just getting started at, and are at the basic website you know paid or stage but as you get more robust with your marketing efforts, create more website content, start blogging, things like that, those lead generation plugins can really help you squeeze a lot of email addresses out of your traffic. Um, we're including a premium SEO schema plugin that allows you to, you know, create structured data on your website, which can, you know, really help with like local SEO, and then also including a bunch of other free WordPress plugins that we're configuring on your behalf that serve in various functions and help. You know build a robust website so yeah um, uh, again uh, created a really nice finished product here the client was super happy with it and helped them uh, we've got them on kind of a you know landing page per month sort of build schedule which is another thing that we're you know frequently doing as well um, so we got them up and running with a, a basic website of just kind of home about contact um, so that kind of you know allows them to start sending traffic to the site um, and then we're starting to build additional landing pages and have already got a managed IT and a managed cybersecurity page out for them. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of an overview of the, the website build summary. Again, when we build a website, it's not just a website. We're doing a lot of stuff that really gears you up for online, ongoing online marketing efforts, prepares you um, so you've got good copy that's structured, you know websites that are optimized for lead generation um, because our primary business is marketing here um, I was a dotnet developer for five years kind of before I started my business so you know I know how to code and you know build websites at a high level and I'm you know leading the uh, development of all the websites that come you know through the business right now um, so uh, I have a, a hand in all that and I'm building some high quality stuff um, but then adding on a ton of other value on top of those website builds with the CRM integrations the lead generation plugins the SEO schema stuff you know making sure your websites rested registered with Google um, submitting sitemaps to Google making sure redirects and things like that and then you know testing with you know for cross browser cross device compatibility to making sure you've got a really cl clean crisp um, in product that just quite frankly a lot of other agencies are not delivering um, and you know building getting a website like this in place is going to be a really great start for your brand that's going to um, be the core foundation of your MSP marketing efforts so something you really want to pay attention to and it's something that we can help you out with uh, I hope you liked the video uh, if you did if you could please like and subscribe uh, it helps us out because we're creating a lot of uh, you know, MSP marketing content here that helps MSPs grow their brands, um, learn more about our service offerings, and if you don't even go with us, uh, can still help you um, put your MSP on the right footing to developing your own uh, marketing program and finding success in the online arena. Uh, I'm Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hare Software, and thanks for watching.